Hey everybody, welcome back to the grind. Okay, let's see what we can do. Playing Nelson from Brazil. Prevents b5 with the bishop. I think this is actually a pretty strong move against the London system. Just my two cents. I don't, uh, I guess that's just trying to prevent e5. Um, this does allow this uh, really funny check over here that can only be blocked by the pawn. I'm thinking about how I can get my queen over here to h5 just to get this check out of the way. Um, but the problem is I have to move my knight. If I move it to h4, I just get forked. And then I lose something. I could move it back to something like d2, but it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just play the bishop out. Maybe I'll get a chance to put the bishop out here instead at some point. I'm going to be losing. Um, no, this is okay. If I go g3, he's going to push up uh, g4, and then I can just hop back to knight d2. Uh, I think it's okay. I'm willing to go knight d2. But I do still have the check here if I can... Yeah, I don't have that anymore. I'm kind of tempted to play uh, h4 here and just go look for the queenside castle. Could play h3 here, but I think h4 is a bit stronger. This is a very funny way to play against the London system. H3 or H4? I go H3. You can push up H4, and then I might get into this locked bishop situation. H3 or H4? Honestly, I think H4 is a safer bet, and then just castling queen side. Hmm. I'm going to play H4. I'm okay with this. I'm okay to play D2. Only thing that sucks is I was hoping to play queen d3 so I could play queen g6 afterwards. But looks like that's not going to happen. Throw all the pawns up the board. I think c4 is actually the play here. Now, if I'm going to castle queen side, I actually don't want to move the the these three pawns. Mm. What a strange game. Everything's so locked in. You know... C3...
I guess if I trade off, if I castle queenside, I can get the rook out on the d file. I think I'll just take here. Yeah. I'll get the knight out here. It's a really weird game. He's only moved one minor piece. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm hoping he pushes d4. What a funny move. I don't want to take with the B pawn here, so I kind of just want to move the knight over. I could go something like knight B1. <laughs> it's such a strange move, though. If I go knight B1, I pin the knight. Mm. What a funny game. It's too bad I can't take that pawn. Uh... Knight b1, I don't know. Knight b1 just seems so bad. Uh, I think, unfortunately, I have to play it. Maybe I can try to kick this bishop on the next move. Pushes the pawn up. Maybe tries to prevent the bishop from going up or something. I was not expecting that. I need to get my queen out. That's my big problem at the moment. I think... Since I know I'm going to be castling, no, I need to I need to cut, like get the queen out and connect the rooks. I'm not even going to entertain anything else. My bishop is really stuck here. Thinking about playing f3, I have essentially one, two, three defenders on f3. He only has two. I think it's kind of a risk move, but I think it has to get played just so I can start to break open somewhere and get the at least get the queen out and then try to connect the rooks. Although I didn't count how many defenders he had on g4, whoops. I kind of didn't take that into account. I just want to castle already. I think maybe I have to go bishop d3. And then castle. 
also have like a very loose bishop back here. He pushes the pawn up. I can't take g4 because he puts his bishop out here and then my queen is going to be uh, in for a really rough time. Could always block in with the knight, I suppose. I'm going to be looking for g6 here. If he takes this pawn, I'll just recapture with the queen. I wonder if I go for check first. I can recapture with the knight. I think I'll just look for check first, and then yeah, I'm happy about that. Now, do I take with the knight or take with the queen? I'm going to take with the queen just so I can castle and connect the rooks here. Hopefully my queen doesn't get trapped in. If I castle, I lose a rook. It's a bit rough. I can't go to the fourth rank. Anywhere I go from there is going to be losing. I think I want to maintain the pin on the knight here. I'll probably offer the bishop trade so I can get my queen out of here to f5. Yeah. Unpins the knight. I'll go offer this trade here. I'm basically just looking for the bishop to not attack d1. Because it prevents me from castling. He's going to take with the knight and then my queen's going to get attacked. So then I'll probably have to go uh, somewhere. It's okay. I'm willing to move this. It's fine.
Where do we go is the question. Kind of want to put the queen on the same file as his king here. That way if I ever move my bishop it pins his knight and then I could maybe find some discovered discovered a uh, check or something. I think he did just win a pawn though, so I kind of blundered that. Yeah, I didn't take that into account. It's kind of my bad. Now I still can't check. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm going to be losing a pawn here. Yeah, this is a really frustrating position. I have the check, but it's pointless. Actually, no, I can win the knight here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was a pretty good move. Yeah, putting the queen on the on the G file paid off there. I think he has to block in this way. A good move there. I still need to castle. Saw that coming. I can win a pawn here, but I'm gonna play it safe. I, I have a check here next move. I kinda wanna win this pawn, I kinda don't. I think if I go here it's actually just mate if I Is it is this just not mate? Check. Boom, boom, boom. He's forced over here. I can move over to G. Now he'll probably go... Hmm. Let's just do the safe thing here. I think he has a fork here next. That's kind of annoying. Hey. Eh. I think I have check and wins the pawn. I have this check next, and then I can win the pawn. If he goes... Yeah, I guess he goes here, and we have to initiate the trade. I'll go for it. This check. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. I have this check. I have this check. Probably just going for the trade here is fine. Can almost win a rook here. Do have check here as well. I have a lot of really good options here. I want to pick the best one. I have check this way. I can just get the bishop off the board. I think I'll go for this. I'll just start trading off, whatever.
I'm trying to win this rook. Can attack the queen. Kind of a bad spot for the rook, though. Um, can offer the queen trade. I'm going to offer the queen trade here. I'm fine with this. Probably just need to run it back. Nice little check there. Text the bishop. I think I can just win this with a fork. Maybe I'll lose the bishop here. Oh well. I'll lose the knight. Oh well. Try to run the pawn up the board next. Okay. The bishop is going to protect my pawn here, so I'm not too worried about it. He's going to have to move his knight, and I'm going to promote. So... It's 
that's also one way of doing it. But I can just attack that with the bishop, that's no worries. He attacks the rook. Um, I could almost even just sack the rook at this point, but I'll go for the free stuff. I get the queen on the next move, so I right, basically just take his knight off the board and should just be winning at this point. So. I probably could have played that a little bit better, but uh, it's all good. Kind of want to put the rook here, cut his uh, king off. And then look for the check. I think I'm going to try to cut his king off from going here. Yeah. I'll just start moving the king up here. He's really just playing for stalemate here, so. These squares are all taken. He's going to be forced to move back. I can move my pawn up. Um, I guess the smart thing to do here would be to just cut his king off and let the pawn promote, I suppose. But, I don't know. There's probably like a fast way to do this, but um, I'm kind of just trying to do it the safe way, I suppose. This cuts his king off from this rank. Mm, maybe that was a mistake. I think I want to go this way. No, how do I want to do this? Um, let's think about this. I need to just move my king upwards. I think at this point I can probably just go for the king and rook checkmate, right? Maybe that's what I should do. Actually, yeah, that's probably that's probably what I should be looking for. It's just for the king and rook checkmate. I may be trying to overcomplicate this by trying to promote this pawn. He 
he's forced to go here. I'll put my rook up, and then I'll just look for the uh, king and rook checkmate. Yeah, that's actually the best plan. I should have done that a little bit earlier. I'm just trying not to get... Um, I'm trying not to get stalemated with the bishop, so I may just put the pawn up in front of uh, that piece at some point. I probably could just go rook b7, I believe. It'll force them to the back rank. I have a little bit of time, so let's think about this. If I go rook b7, I have all these squares defended. Yeah, he'll be forced to one of these three squares here. So, now let's go rook b7. Yeah. Okay, now he's pretty well cut off. I'm going to just move the pawn up. So I don't get into some weird stalemate business with the bishop here. Um, but for the time being, I'll cut the bishop off this way. And then I'll just block it in so it doesn't um, harm us. I'll go here, I'll just scoot over. Yeah, and then this should be mate. Yeah, I may have overcomplicated it just a little bit earlier with trying to run the pawn up the board. Uh, so we'll play our in-between move here, and then we'll get uh, checkmate, I believe, in like two moves. Yeah, so he can only go to g8, and then b8 is mate. Nice. GG. Well, that was a really funny game. <laughs> I've never had someone just throw, like, the pawn storm... <laughs> against the London system. It looks like looks like I blundered here. How did I blunder? Oh right, he could have actually just taken the queen. Yeah, that was a huge blunder. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> pretend like <coughs> let's pretend like we never saw that. <laughs> what was the move here though? For me. This check? Oh, I did see that check, but isn't it the same idea? It doesn't... Oh, right, 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 right. It's a double check this way. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So then the queen could have gotten out of harm's way. Actually, wouldn't have this been kind of close to mate? Or not really? I guess that's pretty bad. Never mind. Well, either way, that was a pretty fun game. Nelson from Brazil. Appreciate the game. GG. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.